Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Terabyte Reacts, man. Peaky Blinders. Are you guys enjoying it? Even though for some reason, for some reason, my my videos are being, well, that this one is, it. Um, last, last Peaky Blinders video I did, the freaking intro stuff was like not suitable for some, I'm done. Not suitable for advice. I'm done with YouTube. I can't. I'm not even going. I, I, like I don't fight things on YouTube because it doesn't make any sense. Like some of the stuff don't just don't make any sense. Like right now, I can't even put ads on any of these videos because there's this, this yellow dollar sign that they got there. It's like what is going on? Like I'm not even uploading the episode to the, to here. So why are you giving me problems with my Peaky Blinder intros and reviews? Like for real? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, in the last episode, you know, we got to meet the Drangletas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After the aftermath of John passing away, of course, Michael is in the hospital begging Polly to help, um, to help Tommy out. And it was one of those episodes, very sad episodes, but still, Tommy, knowing that he's a leader, staying strong, of course um linda and and esme was really getting on my nerves in that episode but they are who they are can't stop them from being like that um my thing is we can have all the arguments we want to have after we take care of this problem you know there isn't a problem right now with the italians the italian mob is here to take us out they're here to take us out what can't you understand about that? And 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 Ada, she she's moving up, man. She's move. She understands the gravity of the situation. You know what I'm saying? She understands the gravity of the situation, and she's really moving up, moving into that place as a Peaky Blinder now. So I gotta give her some respect on that. So we're gonna jump into this episode, man, um, to see how we're gonna proceed from here. They've made a deal to like no children. Yeah, it's war. But it's no children. No, what is, is it? No, it's just no children, right? <laughs> it's something else they said. Uh, but, man, this dude is doing a good job of playing Italian. Is he Italian in real life? I guess you guys would know that. Let me know in the comment section if this dude is Italian in real life. I would really appreciate it if you um, let me know if he is. Um, I don't like to look up this stuff because a lot of times when you look up stuff, you get spoiled about stuff. That's why a lot of times I'll just, any questions I have, I'll leave it up to you guys to put it in the comment section because I don't want to go looking for this stuff because I'm curious and I get spoiled about anything. You guys should understand that by now. Okay, so thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you guys back here for the review. Alright guys, welcome back over here on YouTube with a review of Peaky Blinders Season 4 Episode 3. Just ended, um, just finished watching it and man, the way out that episode and I'm not sure man. I don't even, I don't even know if there was a deal made or not. You get what I'm saying? Between Polly and Luca, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say towards that scene. It was very, very, um, I don't want to say confusing, but obviously they knew each other maybe when they were kids. I don't know. Maybe when they were younger or something like that. Um, so I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised at that. But the other things that, that took place in the episode where... Um, I think the thing that mostly got to me was the situation with Arthur and him almost dying in the episode. I, I knew my, my boy Arthur was going to come through in that moment. You give him a chance to react, he's got, that, his instincts are going to kick in. He's a beast. You literally went to mess with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes on to Arthur, 
Arthur he, 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 he survives you know what I'm saying like when it comes on to a fight if it's him and somebody else I'm always the, the man literally beat a man to death I think it was like what was it season two he I think he beat some some dude to death that didn't a young kid <laughs> you know what I mean you know so we know that he's high strong I'm in a way I'm glad that Linda got to him I don't know why she's trying to say oh god and Jesus no you talk to the dude you devised your plan with Polly and you got him to listen to you all good okay um so for her to be like that and then she goes to the gambling shop and she's outright not she's like oh we can do this um gambling is a sin and that's what i'm saying it's a double standard sometimes with people like that are the worst type of christians you know what i'm saying like they're the worst uh, i i don't like people who, who like they pick and choose what to follow you know so you know and then when they say oh god i i, I it just it, it irks me you know so when it comes on to that situation the situation that was going on it was very um i understood why she had to do it or why she wants to do it because she doesn't want him to die and i get it you know what i mean so to leave it up to um to the um gold to to handle that stuff let him pay him to do the killing whatever they seem capable you know so that was dealt with the visit from um from um, michael's foster mom was pretty cool too um to see that he still cares about him um polly is you guys already know how i feel about polly so it was very surprising that she went to do this to bargain with luca very surprising to me so the situation with tommy and lizzie that situation just came out of the blue i don't know where that is coming from but um i guess he just reminiscing and be like i want to be with if, if, listen if you can trust anybody i think at this point if you can't trust anybody you can trust lizzie lizzie has been there through everything the cussing when when grace when grace died she's been there with him through everything so in a way the relationship has been built up it's just that the way how he was talking to her was kind of surprising to me because it kind of seems like he loves her right so that part threw me off but if you're gonna say if you're gonna talk about like how things developed and stuff like that there is some precedence there for that there is some representation for it in the storyline coming up um it's just that the love part kind of seems like he's actually in love with her so that kind of threw me for a loop so so yeah man the war is still on we got to see some action got to see a guy get drowned in paint i've never seen that in anything <laughs> so that was pretty cool to see so yeah man so that's peaky blinders man that's my review really just talking about some of the pointers there uh, as always excellent cinematography in this in this show man the pacing was great i don't know how they do this for six episodes per season they have mastered pacing i'm not even kidding they have mastered it this is a mastery of pacing i, I don't care what nobody says like you nothing nothing is there where you can say man i didn't where did this come from what well, this snuck up on no they are doing it six episodes time skips whatever they're doing it perfectly perfect perfect and i say i say this so many times before that dnd that did game of thrones they could have learned a lot about how to pace the final season of game of thrones if they just watch one season of peaky blinders they could have known they could have known period man i love this show but thank you guys so much for watching man as always I mean, I've been just trying to catch up on the reactions because everything is kind of off schedule right now. But I thank you guys for tuning in and and supporting these videos, man. And as always, like, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. As always, tell me what you think of this episode, man. And as always, support Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.